against the bloodthirsty monsters who have risen up to destroy us. Cutting short their lives is like a hail of arrows at our heart. The soul of the nation is bleeding. The government will determine national days of mourning for the terrible disaster. While further highlighting Israel's continued preparations, Premier Netanyahu concluded his address by asserting that Israel is united in its clarity of mission ahead. As Prime Minister, I am responsible for ensuring the future of the country, and at present it is my responsibility to lead the state of Israel and the people to a crushing victory over our enemies. Now is the time to unite for one goal, to storm forward to victory. With shared forces, with deep faith in the justice of our cause and in the eternity of Israel, we will realize the prophecy of Isaiah 60 colon 18, violence shall no more be heard in your land, neither wasting nor destruction within your borders, but you shall call your walls salvation and your deeds praise. Meanwhile, Israeli War Cabinet Minister Benny Gantz released an address of his own in which he reiterated to the citizens of Israel that attaining the objectives of this war will demand fortitude as it will inevitably take time. We will work to redesign the space and the fight against terrorism in Gaza will continue in the territory of the Gaza Strip and in its depth, wherever and whenever it is necessary, in order to ensure security for the communities that will return and rebuild the area. The maneuver is only one stage in a long-term process that includes security, political and social aspects that will last for years. Minister Gans, who formerly served as Jerusalem's defense minister and IDF chief of general staff among other senior security positions, underscored further that while the state of Israel appreciates the help of its allies, it will fulfill its war objectives by its own military might. We will no longer trust others, however generous they may be. Only we will protect ourselves and every Jew. Behind our tears stands a country, and stands a strong and just force. Today, I would like to tell you the danger of destruction will not be our destiny, but rather the fate of those who would do evil to us.